Happy Sunday. Uh, this is 100 days, day number 47. Cannot believe we're at 47 already. Um, every once in a while I like to kind of video a blog. Um, today I'll do that because I have some driving and I want to lose it. It's a gorgeous day in Chicago. It's 80 degrees. You can see what the sky looks like. It's awesome. So capture all that. Get on, um, make sure I stay in a better habit of, uh, of being, of speaking. Um, <clears throat> so I had an interesting conversation with, um, one of my best friends the other day. We we're kind of talking about, uh, you know, kind of where I'm at with like dating right now and not, and, um, just kind of taking some time for myself and, you know, building, building and, you know, paying a little paying a lot more attention to like like money and the business and stuff like that and really not like expending any energy um any other energy anywhere else and he made a he made a funny like a funny comment and of course like you know this is best friends so like there's stuff that uh <laughs> we just talk about between us but um you know he kind of he made like the, a funny point he was like you know when we're 70 I'm gonna I'm gonna show yourself a picture of you at, you know, in 2015, right now, and be like, yeah, this is when you were talking about, you know, not hanging out with girls or or just or not dating or whatever, and and just kind of like ironically showing me like, you know, in the future, 40 years, what is gonna like how how dumb I'll think that was, you know, whatever, but uh, and that's funny and that's hilarious and. You know, there's a lot of a lot of visuals of me and him. A, a, I, I love the fact that he's talking about us being like 70, 80 years old and like laughing about stuff because he and I talk about that all kind of st all the time. And I know he'll be there, and I know I'll be there, and and we'll you know we'll we'll look back and laugh at each other, or laugh at our lives when you know when we were <laughs> back in the day. Um, and I know he'll be there for me. So like that that was already huge and kind of in my mind. But, um, but you know, out of that, outside of the funniness, like, you know, 2015, you were, uh, you weren't really too much worried about females or whatever. You're just kind of like in your own zone, but more than that, even like just how many times we can look at ourselves or look back at ourselves and say something similar, you know, um, how many times in you know five ten years a year next week you know are we are we in a place where we kind of look back and be like man you know I had all that potential then I had all those dreams then I had all that opportunity then and if I knew then what I knew now what would I have done differently you know or I wish I had just gone for it you know or I wish I had told them how much I love them. Um, just like, just how many times we let things just kind of pass us by or slide by that we should have got done, we should have taken care of, we should have been, and we weren't those things, you know, at those at those times. And then of course, hindsight is always twenty twenty, right? You go through life and you're like, oh yeah, you know, there's a there's a company called, you know, Apple and you know, I'm not that I don't really like the name of the company. I'm not gonna invest in the company and fifty years later or or twenty years later the stock is crazy and they you know I'm talking to you on an Apple iPhone, you know, and um so so not like that. Not like if I was able to read into the future. Sometimes I think it's just a little bit more like, what if I was able to actually trust the future? What if I was able to actually put trust in the future? Whether it, whether it's, you know, faith in God and your faith in God's commitment to you and your life and your future and that, you know, there's promises, there's promises for how great you know, we can be and we will be and if if we, you know, kind of do certain things or, or or maybe it's just the fact that there is a future and the fact that no matter what, it's coming. 
no matter what you do, no matter how you are stomping and screaming and kicking and screaming and no matter what, there's the, you, you, there's a future coming, and you, and you can have and and that is a fact. And and maybe just that little bit is is enough. Maybe just like knowing that no matter what. There's something to look forward to, you know. And if it's our time, and, and and there isn't, and you know, then that's even more to this point. You know, the point is, how many times do we let today pass by without really, really capitalizing on it? You know, like not financially. Not like, yeah, today I woke up and I hustled and I grinded. You know, it's just all fine and good. And I'm, I'm not knocking that at all. There's, well, how many times have you thought, man, I haven't talked to that person in forever and I should call them. Man, I, I, you know, I just really genuinely love that person and just communicate that. How many times has there been a today that if you were to look, look back at it in the future you thought wasted. What, I don't know what that looks like for everybody. I know for me, it's funny because my friend's making a point about, uh, about like, look at me physically at, you know, 37 and, you know, I've got all these things that, that I can offer a relationship and, and n not that person to have. And I think that a lot of people would kind of get caught up on, you know, on in that and on that. And, you know, I'm not going to lie. I have my moments where it's like, you know, I definitely want another kid. Definitely want, you know, you know, I want a wife like, for sure. 100%. There's no way fans or butts about those things. But, but now is just a time to build me. And, and I think that, uh, you know, I can look back. I can look at myself now and say, you know, you've done decent enough job with a few things it's just time to push the envelope it's time to make sure it's time to use your energy for you you know and, and I and I think that um, when you do that you make that commitment to yourself you know I think that's I think everything comes I think the future comes and I have confidence that the future is going to come but I think that there's something special to doing that taking care of yourself and this is my time to take care of myself this is my time to build these businesses, multiple, to build them, to strengthen them, to never be in a financial situation that I've been in the last, you know, year and a half or whatever, um, to, to take that time that I've been there, that, that time that I've been there, I, I could have solved it all the way through. I could have solved that specific financial burden and I was making conscious, conscious decisions not to because, because I knew I was trying my best to listen to what the path was, was, was saying. And I was listening, trying to listen my best to what God was telling me to do, to move forward, and what not to do. And a lot of times, some of the things that I was involved in before, and and just like the um, the draining of energy that went into me operating you know, in nightlife, like full scale operations, it just wasn't, uh, it wasn't healthy for me anymore. And, and that was, that's important, you know, for me to kind of, I, to, to have identified that. And I could have solved my financial situation 10 times over by taking, you know, any one of those, those gigs. But, you know, I, I was okay and I have been okay suffering for a while because I know that this, this time, is what is is what is going to make the future amazing, the future great, and and this time is what I needed to use to put building blocks in place for a business to grow, and that's not always the most lucrative thing in the world to do, and that's not always the, the easiest thing in the world, and honestly, it's been one of the hardest things in the world to do, and I've been so terrified and so scared and so upset and so up and down and all this stuff that's kind of gone and that's come out of me in the last year and a half and you know but this is my time right now that I don't want to look back and say one time I should have just buckled down and worked I should have just buckled down and suffered for a little bit in the right way and 
made sure that you got the things done that you were supposed to get done. And that's and that's what I hope to, to be accomplishing now. That's what I hope to be on the verge of doing. This week, this week, it's come to me multiple times today, but this, le- this week is gonna change the rest of my life. Like, it's Sunday, August 23rd, 2015. That week, the week of this week, right now, starting, already, will change the rest of my life. I don't know how, I don't know why, I don't know what that means, I don't know what that look like looks like exactly, but I know it's a fact. And I can't wait to, can't wait to find out what that means. You know, I can't wait to have something else answered a bit, a bit, be revealed another piece of the puzzle. Because I feel like I've always known the end of the story. I don't, I haven't been able to fill in the pieces between now and then. I haven't, I've always known what, what's in, uh, what's in my future. I'm a king. I, I've, I've known that. The, the question and the hard times come from between now and then and that's that's what's been that's what's been difficult but you know I feel very confident about uh, about some of the things that are going on right now and I feel very very confident in my decision to focus on me and and con- contrary to how I used how I used to kind of be in the in the past like I don't feel selfish you know and I used to feel se- really selfish when I just kind of blocked out a lot of things and focused on me, but I, but I don't I don't feel that way anymore. It's been a year and a half, and I've seen a lot of people go. I haven't seen a whole lot of people come. I haven't seen a lot a lot a lot. I haven't seen a whole lot of people sacrifice something for me when I would have sacrificed anything for them. Um, and as sad as that is, I think some of my purest friendships have have developed in the last year and a half. I think some of the some of my truest friends have shown that they're my truest friends, um, and you know it's not a it's not it's not the landscape that I thought it was, um, but I'm going back into a season where I know that I'm going back into a season where that'll change too. All of a sudden, I'll have a lot of friends soon again. And <laughs> it's all fine and good, you know. Like I'm not, I'm not mad. It's just I'll go into that season, like really understanding and really knowing who and where my friends are, and that's that's worth its weight in gold, you know. Um, but yeah, that's that. Don't uh, be conscious of the fact that there is time involved. Be, be urgent. Be urgent in your chase. Be urgent to communicate love. Communicate feelings. Communicate vulnerability. Be urgent. Because time is not always... It, it doesn't just sit there and wait for us to figure it out. And you will be 70 one day. Or maybe not. Maybe... maybe you know, but you, but you will be there tomorrow. You will be there maybe the next week. You know, and, and I don't know what that I don't know what God has planned for you in that particular voice or that particular the the time space continuum. But I know that um, for a lot of us, there's a there's a there's a tomorrow. And what is and there's no reason to look back on today with regret. You know, I wish I had done. I wish I had said. I wish I had chased. I wish I had felt. I wish I had fixed. You know, and those are all things that, uh, those are all things that just kind of like, that hinder us in the past. And I'd rather set us up, uh, hinder us in the future. And I'd rather, you know, I'd rather work on setting us, ourselves up for, for a good future. And I feel like, you know, that's, that's something that's, that's a, it's a big focus of mine now. And I've, and I've always kind of worked more on setting everyone else up. And taking care of everyone else, and that's all fine and good. I don't regret that at all. But it's just really, it's just really important to take care of yourself. It's really important to set yourself up so that you don't have to look back and regret, you know, or look back on on time with regret. So that being said, happy Sunday. Hopefully, everyone's having a good one. Peace.